bear and stain bears. Bear with me with the bear and stain bears. Bear with me. I'm a bear and stain bear. <laughs> That'll get you out of bed. Huh? Get your fucking ass out of the bed. <laughs> oh, these guys are clowns. They're fucking Clooney. They're George Clooney. George Clooney, you say? <laughs> George fucking Clooney, you say? Huh? Are you a clown? Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone, episode 187. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, okay, it's been a little bit. It's been it's been about a m- 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 one month exactly since I've uh, recorded or filmed. Uploaded, edited, a shit cast. It's been about a month. But before we get into it, I must say, subscribe. You're not allowed to watch the rest of the video unless you subscribe. Them's the rules. I didn't make them. I didn't f***ing make the rules. I didn't f***ing make them. It wasn't me. No, it was that guy. It was that guy over there. You, but you can't just subscribe, you know. Like, that's not it. That's not... You can't just stop there. You have to like the video. You have to comment. And you know what? You also have to hit that bell notification. I know. It's fucking horrible, but you have to, unfortunately. You're not allowed to watch YouTube videos unless you do all that right now. So, and if you're already subscribed, well, guess what? That's just one less thing you have to do now. All right? So if you want to continue to watch this garbage, you have to do all that. It's And that goes for any video on YouTube. I swear to Jesus. Does that offend some of you out there when I say that? Did you get offended, Rodriguez? Huh? Did you get offended because I said I swear to Jesus? Huh? God, Rodriguez. It's always something, isn't it? I'm a little parched, Rodriguez. I'm a little parched. Parched. I'm parched of your shit, Rodriguez. Okay? Does that make sense? I don't think so. It's been about a month. Oh, you know what? We have something for this. It's been about a month since it's been okay um, it's been about a month you can't keep getting away with it you can't keep getting away with it <laughs> i forgot about those it's been a while since i've filmed a poop cast and guess what what's the reason you ask is that that would shoot that is that is that what you're waiting for me to say what's the reason well, let me think for a second. Hmm, what is the reason? Uh, I don't know. I was Maybe it was the fact that every single episode that I was filming every single week was demotivating me to do the next episode, huh? How about that? Does that make sense? How many times have I said that this episode? It was just like, you know, you do an episode every single week for over a year... And you just fall into a slump. You just got to take a break. You take a break. You take a nice long month break from filming and editing podcasts. You come back fresher than ever. I'm like a fucking baby wipe right now. Straight out the jar. Doesn't get any fresher than that, ladies and guys. Okay? Just take a break, all right? You're feeling you're feeling like not motivated? Just take a break and then get back in the fucking horse. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. 
<laughs> you got to get back on the fucking horse every once in a while. You get off the horse, you get on the horse. You can't stay on the horse forever. Just hop off for a little bit. Then you can get back on, okay? That's what I'm doing, and that's what Chris D'Elia did. He was gone, but he wasn't He wasn't taking a break because he wanted to take a break, though. That's the difference. I didn't get canceled like our, like my, like our boy Chris D'Elia. Ha. Huh. How do you feel about Chris D'Elia? You, do you do you still hate him? Were you, did you always ha- did you hate him straight from the beginning? How do you feel about Chris D'Elia? I'm just glad to see him back. That's all I got to say. Look, you don't believe me? He uploaded a video 1 month ago titled It's been a while. Which is what I was just saying a while ago. How how ironic is that? And then he uploaded a, an episode of the podcast, you know. The last episode was nine months ago. Look at that smile. Look at that weird-ass smile he's got. Oh, my God. Is that real? That can't be his real fucking smile. Is that real? He's just goofing. He's got to be goofing right there. That's not real. That can't be a real fucking smile, dude. <laughs> Look at his smile. He looks like a fucking psychotic Joe Pesci if he lost some weight and got a bit taller. Wow. That's Joe Pesci if I ever did done see him. Yeah, all these thumbnails are a bit goofy. That's got to be a goof. That's not a real smile. This is how he actually smiles right here with this dog. Look at that dog. Kind of looks like a... A verge, 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 version. I was trying to say version and it came out virgin. Looks like a virgin of olive. You should have seen me. You should have seen me a few weeks ago. You should have seen me a few days ago. My hair was like long. It was so long. Chopped it all off. Came back on the podcast. New me. <laughs> what? I don't say that. Don't ever say that to me, okay? If you If you find a new fashion style for yourself and you show up to my face and you're like, Hey, new day, new me. I'm a fucking stab your eyeballs with my fingers. I don't even care. I don't even care. Don't ever say that to my face. I will absolutely stab your eyeballs with both my fingers. Okay, one in each eyeball. And I'll I'll make sure that my fingernails are always long so that if someone does say this to me, the fingernails get right into the eyeball. Okay? And I even barb them a bit. I barb my fingernails so that I, I I sink them in, you know, hook the barb and pull the fucking eyeballs right out of their socket. It's what I'm going to do to you if you say some shit like that to me. Don't ever say a new day, new me to me. Uh, just kidding. That was a fake poof. Um, Janice... What are your thoughts on Chris D'Elia? Also, can I have a zinc, please? Oh, wow. Perfect. Uh, I've got actual fluid in the cup today. <laughs> can you hear that g- gulping? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Science. I'd like to see Bill Nye diagnose that one. Yeah, I know. Okay. Jesus. I'm going to make it in my uh my 2021 resolution, which I'm a little late, but my 20 my late 2021 resolution is to stop is to say less and less Jesus Christ. I've been saying that word for too long. I've I'd say my whole life, even I even remember being a child when I'd get upset I'd say Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ when I'm to you know, for funny stuff for situations. The word Jesus Christ can be thrown into a lot. It's 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 a multi-use word. It has many meanings. But I'm sick of it. I don't want to. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm gonna find something else instead. So instead of Jesus Christ, 
maybe I should start saying Crystalia, maybe, or I'll I could just pick. You know, if we're doing comedians, Tim Dillon, uh, uh, Norm Norm McDonald, Mark Normand, Mark Normand, ah, uh, Mark Norman, hit your toe. God, M- Mark Norman. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't roll off the tongue as nice as Jesus Christ, though, does it? Jesus fucking Christ, Mark fucking Norman. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Maybe I have to keep saying the word. Cause, cause when you use Jesus fucking Christ, the words. Or the names Jesus and Christ, that they don't seem like words anymore. That's just like, I mean, they don't seem like names anymore, is what I meant to say. Maybe I said that. I don't know. I'm a little baked right now, unfortunately. I didn't think I was going to, you know, feel this lovely. Turns out I am. So, uh, when you say Jesus fucking Christ, Jesus and Christ doesn't sound like names anymore. It just sounds like anger words. He's angry. You know, or if someone tells you something embarrassing or unfortunate, you go, ah, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, man. How else can you use Jesus Christ? If you're laughing, (laughs) Jesus Christ, (laughs) right? Or, uh, um, you know, we did the anger one, scared. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. (laughs) But, uh, so, if I want to stop saying Jesus Christ, then I have to come up with another name that works. And, uh, I don't want it to be biblical. It doesn't have to be biblical. It just has to roll off the tongue nicely. Gal Godot? Maybe that one. Gal fucking Godot. Not too many G's. You can't you can't do it with that many G's. That's too much. Ooh. I thought I had some more sound bites somewhere. They're hidden somewhere in here. I only got the six button stream deck, so I'm I'm flipping through folder after folder here trying to find what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. Oh look, here's an old one. You use way too many napkins. That's Chris Delilah himself. Da 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 Okay, guys, let's do some dancing. Let's show me my moves. I am sober, you motherfucking piece of shit. You guys got any bags of bird ham? My poop looks like angel hair pasta. My poopoo looks like angel hair pasta. Coronavirus! Oopa loopa, buddy ass bitch! I need to go and finger me. Charlie me. Brown was retarded. Sparse shaddy and meat sauce. Yep. I sure did. Sparse shaddy and meat sauce. <laughs> this is. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just a little distracted. Uh, this is. This is how the podcast used to be, right? I don't know. It got to a point where I would, you know, as you're editing, you're watching and you're like, oh, this is fucking boring. Move on. And so you spice it up. You're like, okay, let's compact our words together more tightly. Let's get as much in as we can in the short amount of time. (laughs) All right. And then you start to like, you start to lose the vibe of what the podcast was. So then you take a month break and you get right back into it. <laughs> okay, ladies and goldfish. Can I zoom out just a little bit on this picture? I got to show you something right here, right now. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to get me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to get me down. Oh, Johnny boy, Johnny boy. Okay, stop. Stop it. I'm sorry. I just can't help it sometimes. There's been this picture floating around on the internet. It's an optical illusion. You may have, may not have seen it. 
All right? It's one of those things that would show up on your Facebook wall. Ugh. Like, there's nothing worse than Facebook. Nothing. I, I, I hate it. I dislike it a lot. The marketplace is cool. The messenger application is cool. That's it. Get Facebook off the internet. It's been consumed. It's been taken over by boomers and just dreadful people. People that make you cringe every time they open their mouth. That's who's on Facebook. And you might be saying, well, I'm on Facebook. Well, guess what? This is a reality check for you. Okay? It's a wake-up call. You're cringe. You're nothing but a sweaty mess of cringe. Okay? Get your shit together and mush it around in your face. You're not cool on Facebook. All right? Facebook has run its course. Get off of it. All right? There's plenty of others. Instagram. Twitter. Ugh, Twitter's not any better. They all suck. Okay? Get off of them. But Facebook especially. Anyway, so there's been this optical illusion floating around. Uh, I discovered it on Facebook. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay? The company I work for has a Facebook account. I am involved in posting things on said Facebook account. So, you know, I happen to just disgustingly scroll through the timeline and I say to myself, what the fuck am I doing? And I stop. But this one time I came across this image and it said, can you see what this image is? Because it's an optical illusion. And so I don't see what it is that they want me to see. At least I don't think I do. And then... And so, you know, I do what any sane human being would do on Facebook, which is no one, because there's no sane people on Facebook. So get off! But I went to the comment section, as one would do, to figure out what people are seeing. And everyone's saying, I see a cowboy, I see a cowboy, cowboy, cowboy. And so it took me a while to find the cowboy, and and now that I have found the cowboy, I can't see anything but the cowboy. But it took me a while to get there. And so I want you to take this journey right now, if you haven't already. Take a look at this blob of shit. All right? And you're, if, if you're anything like me, you're seeing like a lobster with wings. <laughs> you know, he's like standing uh, vertically. The wings are on the right, his like claws and shit are on the left, underneath them, his eyes are up at the top there, with the little squiggly antennas pointing down. You see what I'm seeing? He's even got legs. That's a flying lobster. No, it's not. The whole thing is a cowboy face, with a cowboy, a weird cowboy hat. It's very hard to find, but once you find it, you can't go back. And I like it. I liked it, so I thought I would share. But we're not going to sit here and stare at this image all day until you figure it out, okay? Uh, we got TikToks to watch. I was looking at the wrong fucking time. <laughs> Silly me. Anyway, I wanted to check this out. I just want to say before we move on, okay? Before we move on like garbage cans, I just got to say Ethan Klein, Eva Klein, Trisha Paytas, Dan... Sword love, Ian, uh, something, Zach the sound lad, don't know your last name either, A.B., Abdallah or Abdullah, whatever, I don't know what it is, it's A.B. is what it is, I'm missing someone, love, am I missing someone? Whoever else is involved at the H3 Productions production, (laughs) 
over there. I just got to say, you guys are fucking killing it. All right? I'm loving everything that's coming out your bottoms. Frenemies? Oh, my God. Fucking, we're living in YouTube history right now. And I don't know if a lot of people realize that, but this is an era of the H3 uh, fucking... You know what I'm trying to say. This is a, <laughs> this is a moment in the H3 zeitgeist. That's not the right word. This is a moment in the H3 times that is going to go down in history. This whole, you know, the frenemies, the Teddy Fresh, just the H3 podcast in general. Like, it's we're in a moment of primeness right now. This may be the highest peak they've ever had. And they're still, they still haven't peaked yet. They're still rising. So I just got to say this moment of the H3 universe is beautiful. And I, I'm glad I'm a part of it. I really like it. And you can say what you want about how their content is now, especially with the David Dobrik stuff. You know, a lot of people are hating on the H3 team. They're saying, why do you guys keep talking about this David Dobrik shit? But unless you're really involved in that world, you're not going to understand why. It just it was just a thing that like led into one after the other and then they're kind of stuck in this and but they're stuck in it because they really do want to make an impact. You know, I mean if you know, you know. I got snots in my nose. I got snots in my nose. It's okay. Calm down. I'm just picking my bugs. Don't act like you don't pick your bugs. Come on. Whew, I just wanted a little one. I just wanted a little taste. I got this vape cartridge. It tastes like flowers. Oh, it tastes good. But I don't want to get crazy, crazy high. I always get too fucking high on these podcasts. And shit goes haywire. Is that the term? <laughs> Haywire. Can we look that up, please? Can we just take a sidebar here and look up the definition? Haywire. 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 Ow. Erratic. Out of control. Hell yeah. Where did the term come from? Haywire is an Americanism that came out of New England. New England. New England. New England logging camps around the turn of the 20th century. A haywire outfit was one that patched its equipment together with bailing wire or some other cheap temporary repair. And eventually it would just fucking wreck itself. Get wrecked, son. You're haywire. Here's what I wanted to do. I felt like doing this, so I figured we might as well do it. Look, David Dobrik's trending. The controversy around popular YouTuber star... David Dobrik, what to know? LAT Entertainment. What is that, Los Angeles Times? Everyone's jumping on the Dobrik scene. Cancel David Dobrik! We gotta cancel him. Let's cancel him, ladies and guys. You ever scroll through Twitter and you see an ad like this where it's like images of life hacks or... Please tell me I'm not the only person that learned this. And it's just like very clickbaity, makes you want to click to find out what's going on in the image. Or it'll be like, you've been using deodorant wrong your whole life. Here's why. And then you click the ad and then you're scrolling, scrolling and scrolling, trying to find the one that you saw. And you sometimes you never even find it. So I wanted to run through one of these real quick with y'all. See how we see where we end up, you know? Maybe we'll get excited and find something new. But this one says, I can't believe I have never used this correctly. So that's exactly what I just said. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we've been doing wrong our whole lives. Are you ready? <laughs> Your life's about to change on the Dynamite Gizmo shit cast. 
here's the right way to floss. Okay, I don't floss at all, so I don't know if I have a right way. Have you ever flossed? Nope. Maybe once. Only to find yourself losing grip. Uh, you know what? I don't want to do this one. This one sucks ass. Seat covers. Flossing's for pussies. <laughs> Seat covers. I'm just kidding, okay? I really should floss. I just don't, okay? I don't do it, and you're not going to make me do it by yelling at me like that. I'm just, I'm not going to fucking floss, and you're not going to make me. Seat covers. Going to the bathroom in a, in a public restroom is something that can make a lot of people shudder. Anyone who is even slightly germ conscious will reach for a disposable seat cover before they have even closed the stall door. Okay. What's the fucking hack? This hack here, though, is that most people place the disposable cover on the seat with the flap part in the bowl, but we are here to advise that by placing the flap sticking in front, the whole thing is actually easier to flush away when you are done. Huh? How? When the flap's in the toilet, you flush and it literally sucks it in. Right? This is dumb. They're not even showing you why. Sturdy hangers. Perfect tip. Perfect tip for those moving. Use two or three sturdy hangers. Make as a makeshift rod to hang others on. This is so dumb. That is... I've seen this. We've all seen this shit before. You put the bread clips on the cord. Dumb. Oh, this is so stupid. We already know this. Of course the takeout boxes are plates. Okay. If the next one is another fucking image that we've all seen before, then I'm shutting this down. All right? Yes, we know the fucking hole in the fucking pasta spoon is a, is a serving or whatever. Okay? Shampooing hack. Here we go. This is... I don't know if I've heard this one. Hair sebum. What? Or oil. Okay, let's read from the top. Most people believe that to clean their hair properly, the shampoo needs to be lathered in from the root to the ends. But the truth is that it can actually dry out the hair excessively and cause damage to the ends. Okay. Hair sebum or oil, is produced and released from the scalp. So that is where it is most likely to pull up. During washing, the scalp is the area that needs to be concentrated on. There's no need to spend so much time on lathering the rest. Okay. Wait. I just want to... I don't care about shampooing. I don't... You put the shit in your hair, you squish it around, you wash it out. Like, whatever. I'm dirty. Am I dirty? No, I'm not dirty. My belly button's dirty, though. It's hard to clean in there. Getting the most out of your PB. Naturally made peanut butter is best, and usually far healthier than regular store-bought ones. Unfortunately, they are prone to separation after a short time, and you are left with an unappetizing layer of oil on top of the solid butter part underneath. The solution is to store them in your cupboards lying down. Okay. Okay, I'm done with this. It even says on the fucking peanut butter itself to lay it that way. This is not a hack. This is baloney. This is absolute baloney. And don't listen to them. One last thing before we get into some TikToks. What the f*** is this bullshit, Netflix? Huh? What the f*** is this, Netflix? Okay? Have you seen the documentary on Netflix called The Last Blockbuster? I have yet to see it. Okay? But I'm going to. I want to see it. But it, uh, ah, isn't this weird? Netflix killed Blockbuster. 
Netflix fucking slaughtered it. Fucking sliced its neck and beat the shit out of it. Tortured, mutilated, and slowly killed Blockbuster over years. Completely destroyed Blockbuster. I have a lot of amazing memories associated with Blockbuster. As weird as that sounds, okay? I used to love bringing my friends over to my house. We play all day, have a great fucking time. We build up the courage to ask our parents to have a sleepover. We wait for the responses. They both say yes. Of course, it's exciting. Fuck yeah. We're having a goddamn sleepover. Boys night. Woo. We're going to get candy. We're going to get sodas. And we're going to convince our parents to bring us to Blockbuster so we can get a goddamn N64 game. We got to rent a game. All right? So now we got a trip. We got a fucking car ride to the to the Blockbuster. All right? And the whole time we're sitting in the back seat like, oh, what game should we get? Dude, I don't know. I heard about this one game. It's so cool. It's like little army men. But you can play as them and shoot other people. And I was like, oh, but what about Mario Party? You know? You don't know what you're going to get. You get to the Blockbuster. You go straight to the fucking video game section. There's no, there was no trailers. There was no way of knowing what the game was that you were going to rent. The only information you got was on the back of the box that the game came in. And it was on the shelf. You grab the, you grab the game off the shelf, you flip the box around, and you'd read the description and look at the three pictures that they had. And that, you had to make your decision off of that. And so sometimes you'd buy a really fucking shitty game. Or, I mean, you'd rent. You'd rent a really shitty game. And be like, fuck. This is bullshit. (laughs) We went all the way to Blockbuster. To get, to rent a game for boys night. Fucking sleepover city. And we get home. We got our snacks. We got our sodas. And the fucking game's bullshit. That's happened a lot. But sometimes, sometimes you just play your card safe and you just get Mario Party. And it's like, okay, you know this is going to be good. You know this is going to be fun. We can play this all fucking night long and have a goddamn blast. All right? So is that like, uh, you got that surprise factor in there. You got to drive all the way back home not knowing what this game is going to be. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Who knows? But let's find out. Adventures. Blockbuster took you on an adventure, okay? No one's going to experience that anymore. It's something. There will be other things. But there's just a, there's a nice little soft spot in my heart for Blockbuster. I love Blockbuster, okay? I would never go to it if it still existed, okay? I'm glad it's gone, but I'm just saying I like Blockbuster, and I loved the Blockbuster. Had lots of good memories. So Netflix fucking, you know, swoops in years later and just like pushes everyone away from renting movies or buying DVDs or buying renting video games from there. And then, you know, after the slow fucking mutilation of Blockbuster, they just come in and make this documentary of being like, hey, Not only did we fucking make you suffer and torture you to death and kill you completely. Well, not completely. There's the last blockbuster. But we fucking killed you. You know, we killed you. We're going to display our fucking ensemble on our own fucking platform of your goddamn demise and your death. How does that feel? Not only did we kill you, we put your fucking head on a stake and stuck it in our front yard for everyone to see. Like, come on, Netflix. You know, at least let HBO do it or something. Crave, something on Crave. But Netflix, Netflix is the fucking, he's the murderer. It's the murderer. It's like the murderer is getting away with a fucking crime. Is getting away with a murder. He's like, yeah, I killed this person. Here he is. And this is how I did it. And look. 
He's still basically alive, but he's like 99% dead. Because there's one fucking blockbuster he left. And it is struggling to survive. And I follow that blockbuster on Twitter. And you should too. Because it's pretty funny. It's kind of sad. But it's a nice Twitter page. I don't mind it. If I do say so myself. Now, I've got a bunch of TikToks lined up for today, ladies and germs. A lot of these TikToks were TikToks I had saved a month ago. Ready to go. I actually filmed episode 187 and 188 already. But they were fucking dog shit. Like, dog shit. And cat shit. All the shits mixed together and mushed around in your face. Thoughts were th- that's where those two episodes. I'm feeling really good about this episode. This This feels nice. The break was worth it. I'm back in the rhythm. I'm back, baby. This is the way we w- rock the boat. <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics, but I've got TikTok saved up from a month ago. I've got TikToks saved up uh, from like just a f- f- from a few weeks ago, from last week, from today. So I've got a mix of a lot of different TikToks here, uh, and I don't remember a single one of them so this is even better we're coming into this tiktok fucking ensemble completely fresh and unknowing so i don't know which one to pick first we're probably not going to get through all of these today but that's fine that'll just allow us to have more for next episode okay because we're back and better than ever oh huh this is the way I do remember some of these, actually. But I'm going to start with this one because I like the fact that it's that I titled it Alfredo. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I remember this. Okay. Can we watch this again, please? <laughs> I don't even know if that's Alfredo, to be honest. Here he goes. Oh, shit, man. Oh, not too bad. I gotta say, that was not too bad at all. And look, 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 look what we got in the background here. Five, four and five star hotels. Jet two holidays. You got two fucking old people making out on a billboard in the back. This kind of seems like... Like England or something? Did I hear a little accent? (laughs) That laugh sounds like a British laugh. That car looks like a British car. (laughs) Oh my god. That's something you would do in fucking England, right? I guess. What do I know? I've been there. I've been there once. Not twice. I was there for more than one day, so does that consider... Was that more than once? I've got so many hairs in my nose that when I develop boogers in my nostrils, it gets unbelievably tangled in there. It's like taking all of the headphones, all of the wired headphones of the world, and just like rolling them up in a ball and sticking them in your pocket. That's like what's going on in my nose. So when a booger gets involved, you got a sticky, tangled, hairy mess. And so trying to get a booger out is an all-day process. Because you start working at it in the morning, you loosen it up a bit. <laughs> then, you know, you you get pissed off, so you, you suck it back up. It gets all tangled up in there again throughout the day. It starts to droop down. She's like, fuck, I got to get this out. So you start digging again. You pull it down a bit farther. And you're like, I just can't get it out because I can't. My fingers are too big. So you start twisting toilet paper and getting it right up there. And then your nose bleeds. She's like, fuck. So you sniff it back up again. And you're like, why don't you just blow it out? Well, because all that does is it gets the booger out 
about a quarter of the way to the point where you can, you know, dingle at it with your finger. But the entire rest of the booger is tangled up in the mess. So you've got a little piece of booger just hanging out your nose that you can't even get at. And you end up just snorting it back up anyway. That's what it's like having my nose. Also, I can't breathe through it properly. I do a lot of mouth breathing because I can't really breathe through my... I'm getting real personal. So I guess, I don't know, I should get... I know there's something you can do with your nose to, like, open it up and breathe better, which I should do. I just, I don't know, haven't done it. I'm going to... That's going to be an episode of the podcast one day. I'm just going to go get no nose surgery. That would be cool. What's this? Hey, Mark. May I borrow your car? It's a V6. Don't let the power go to your oh, head. Oh, shit. It's a fucking The Toyota V6. Camry V6 has 156 horsepower that makes for surprisingly exhilarating driving. Wow. This guy's loving it. Uh-huh. But please, try to be mature about it. Woo! Mark, <laughs> thanks for letting me borrow this powerful Camry V6. I think I'll go fuck? out and buy one today. I know what you do for me. That's cool. I like that commercial. That laugh. Ooh, that menacing laugh. There's nothing better than a psychotic, fucking, menacing, deranged laugh. Oh, I love it. Insane people are the best. I would not like to live with one. You know, but I, I, I like to... I, when there's one on the streets... Whoo! Fuck, that's gold. That's gold. Doesn't get any better. Here we have the dog shuffle. What could this be? I think I remember. And I think you can probably figure it out. It's got music. Gotta mute that. <laughs> oh my god. Why is he walking like that? Why is he walking like that? Is it because he's wearing a jacket? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Look how he's walking. Oh my god, that's crazy. That is that's the craziest fucking shit I've ever seen. Why is he walking like that? Look at him. Fuck. Did they teach him to do that? I bet I could teach Ubol to do that. That would be f- I don't even know how you would do that. I don't know how you could teach a dog to walk like that. They teach horses to do shit like that. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to pick one that I really don't... Oh, yeah. I remember this one. I don't want to watch that one. But now I now I have to. Yeah, now we have to because I already opened it. I already spoiled it for myself. So, here you go. This one, I don't even remember if this was that great. Yeah, put her in reverse, Terry. Put Almost. her in reverse. You almost got it. Keep going, keep going. You got it, you got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep going, it going. Keep going. There yeah, go. there. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. The airbag went off. This was pretty good. I saved this for a reason. That was the airbag. It fucking crushed him. Watch his hat. Watch his hat. Almost. Put it in reverse, Terry. Keep going, keep going. You got Put it in reverse. It. Keep going, keep going. There yeah. we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. He disappears. And his <laughs> his hat. His hat's the best part of this. Keep an eye on his hat. Keep going. There we go. Oh, his hat falls off before the airbag even hits, actually. But if you're not looking. It looks like the airbag knocks his hat off. There we go. <laughs> it's like a fucking cartoon. It just explodes and he disappears and his hat is left behind. Floats to the ground majestically. Ho. Oh, this one's called Punch to the Face. Oh, I remember this. This is great. This is beautiful. 
This is this is a fine piece of artmanship right here. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 he's out of there. He's out of there. Wow, what was going through the guy's head? I know it's a child. Look. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rock! <rocked laughs> <him. laughs> <And he's laughs> <out. laughs> The balls on that little child. Wait, what? <laughs> I just want to know, like, what's what's with the whose phone is that? Hold on, I gotta dissect this. It's like he, this guy with the beard, gives the child the phone, and then the child's just pissed. He's like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. I want to know. I want to know why he punches him. <laughs> Give me that phone. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> Maybe he's just stealing his phone. That's what it is. Because it's got all his cards in it too. <laughs> Give me that phone. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and he's out. <laughs> he's really out of there. That hat, that's a nice hat, too. I gotta say, man, you know, that's great. Why do you want to do one more? Yeah, there's literally a booger up there. It's a fresh schnuggie. <laughs> I got schnuggies in the bakery. Who wants a schnuggie? Oh, man, it's like... I feel like most of my podcast is me picking snots out of my nose. I do it a lot. Oh, here's a good one. Let's end with this one. You know, I don't want to make the podcast too, too long. This is a good amount of time. I feel like I packed in an, an, a lot. I said what I wanted to say. It came out smoothly, like butter. And that's the way it should be. Remember, folks, always take a break. And always eat your pasta. People think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And um, I think this is an obsession that doesn't... Oh, isn't that gross? Oh, isn't that gross? One more time. One more time for those who didn't see it. Those in the back... Keep an eye on what's happening. People think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. And um, I think this is an obsession that doesn't... <laughs> very um. gross. Like, very, very gross. Jerry Garcia. Hey. Okay, well, you know, that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Um. That's right. Okay, <laughs> Okay, that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Shitcast. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Okay, bye-bye everyone. Bye!